Okay, this is the truth. I'm a lie past seven, so I don't accept your fake ass lies. I want facts if you're gonna tell me something. So make sure you tell me enough information to let me know that it's fact. Like, as in, if you're gonna tell me, Jesus loves you. Really? Where the fuck is he? Was he around you? Did he tell you that? If not, then you're a fucking liar. You're a fucking pathetic, lying-ass piece of shit. Don't tell me stupid shit like that unless he actually came to you and actually told you himself. Other than that, it's a fucking rumor. It's a fucking lie. Just like your goddamn books that you worship, if you do. I didn't need no fucking book to see Jesus Christ himself. He has blue eyes with different colors in them. He looks just like the picture with the brown fucking hair up to his shoulders. My hair's motherfucking longer. Whoopee. And he got to die young and beautiful. Lucky fucking him. And he's perfect. His aura makes you high as fuck like acid. That's what it does. It's its own little unique heaven. He is the only way. He's the only one who makes you feel this way. Not every other spirit makes you feel that fucking great. It gets coached you around a little bit with their little bits of light. Like angels, you know, it's not as great as Jesus is. Just to let you fucking know. That's the truth in my experience. My experience alone. Me, 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 and other people have confirmed it that he was with us. But they didn't get to see him or hear him. They felt him and cried and all this bullshit. And they experienced him. Like, like, my stories of... Just him saying, uh, we, I was in bed with my friend and given her psychic reading. She said she has Virgo Rising. Virgo Risings are readable to me and she's Moon Aries. Um, I was picking up on her Libra friend who, who I never met before because I pick up on this bitch's reality and her experiences every day or whatever. Like that she was wearing green, uh, flannel boxers that, um, her friends were trying to take off for, for jokes or whatever, for fun. Like, just funny little silly things that happened in her life that I wouldn't know about because I wasn't there. But I can be there with my fucking psychic mind. Get it? Get it? Get it? That's how fucking great it, it really is. Like a fucking angel watching over you, looking above you, watching your story. If you're conked out, if you're knocked out, I can get you and read your spirit. And your spirit will tell me where it was before. Like, the energy of you is there. No changing it. You have a home somewhere you came from somewhere I can bring you back to where you lived or where last time you were if you were conked out or whatever I could bring you there just like a fucking angel get it those are abilities that we have but who's fucking using them who the fuck's using them you have to use them yourself you have to do the fucking work socially the whole work your fucking ass off like I did I worked my fucking ass off this shit didn't just come and go by itself no I had to be on psychically spiritually Ears and eyes alone, me, everybody else is dumbass who wants to cooperate or who doesn't. If they don't want to cooperate and I'm seeing spirits around them, I'm still sure as fuck going to harass their motherfucking ass and get those messages from those spirits across because they're ignoring their own fucking spirits and their own fucking angels like fucking idiots. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm psychic, larger than fucking life right here, bitch. I got to see Jesus fucking Christ, angels with motherfucking wings, demons themselves and sell us all. Yeah, I haven't found my fucking cousin's number yet to show you on camera some fucking evidence of this motherfucking bitch trying to tell me, I can make you powerful. And I'm like, ah, it's fucking if I'm already powerful, bitch. I never needed you, never will. You fucking dark demonic energy of bullshit. My light can't even be around yours. You give us a fucking headache. Bitch, please. I ain't gonna fall for that motherfucking shit. I wish Jesus would come down here and right now and fucking save you or cast you out to do what? What the fuck is he really doing? I, I wanna fucking know. Does he cast out demons and what does he do with them because he has cast out the demon when i was in bed with my friend when um i picked up on this lever bitch that i never met until later on in my life and um she what had a, a fucking altar it was pink cloth i hate fucking pink i don't imagine things like that because i don't like fucking pink i hate that color it's ugly artificial and corny and fake as fuck and it's just so ugly in the rainbow Ugh, i hate the color pink so fucking ugly I love lavender and beige. That's my favorite colors. Just to let you fucking know. That's my signature colors, bitch. So, yeah. And, like, when I was picking up on her, I picked up on her altar that was I had a ugly-ass pink cloth, a heart-shaped candle, which was red, and this other cup with a uh, piece of uh, um, wheat-looking um, thing in it, but it was, like, some kind of herb for her dumbass spells or some sh decorative bullshit, and she apparently was contacting demons or something, 
like an idiot and uh, accepted it and whatever because you have to because there's nothing else there. If there's nothing else there you're communicating with, you're just there communicating with whatever the fuck's there in the jungle. It's like the jungle. You can't help what you're, what's there. You can control how the psychic reading is going to go. It's all unpredictable, okay? So then again, it, me and my friend got a headache, a headache from this fucking goddamn demon that I accidentally tipped into because of a friend. And I was like, and she's like, well, what are we going to do? And I'm like, well... We need Jesus. And that's all I said. So that's why I know it was Jesus. Because I said, we need Jesus. And uh, he came for real. And you could see him. He looks beautiful. with his blue ass motherfucking eyes. His hair. And his beautiful high motherfucking cheekbones. Okay? This is what he looks like. That's what he looks like. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he has a flat, flat nose right here. Right here, it was like flat. And then he has this Jewish nose. Okay? That's what he fucking looks like. And he has kind of like sexy ass bug teeth or whatever. And these nice cheek high cheekbones or whatever or whatever pretty fucking eyes pretty blue eyes with different sparkly different colors in them it was blue okay and he looks just kind of like the picture of his hair it's the the painted pictures look just like his hair all wavy and curlyish and brownish red tint to it or whatever but it was just like you know that color and he had a white robe on usually and he really did appear to me for me and her and he said tell her to accept me in her heart, and all of a sudden, I told her, I was like, hello, uh, he, he just told me that he wants you to accept him in his heart, he said, tell her to accept me in her, in her heart, that's exactly the words that he said, and so, let's do it, uh, open your fucking mouth and say, I accept you, Jesus, into my heart, I accept you, Jesus, into my heart, let's do it together, I accept you, Jesus, into my fucking heart, get it, bitch, come in, come the fuck in, you're accepted, and I trust you, Jesus, because I know you're Jesus. It doesn't get, get, I don't give a fuck about the rumors about Jesus, the lies about Jesus. All those are rumors and fucking lies until you experience Jesus himself, okay? So don't fucking lie to me. Your Bible's a fucking lie. Your fucking words are fucking lies, because they didn't come from God or Jesus unless they did. God and Jesus is here, there, everywhere, and this energy and this real experiences that you could have, not through a fucking book, okay? Okay. There's some fucking story. Fuck you. Okay? Fuck your lie. You don't just read a fucking book and believe that that's God. Hell fucking no. It's goddamn fucking dumbass human wrote those books. Fuck you. Those entities are real though. The four face being, I seen that bitch too. Yeah. The four face being, the lion face, the eagle face, the human face with the six wings with all the eyes. That's fucking real. I've seen that and I never had to read the fucking Bible for that much. So don't fucking tell me that I have to read some fucking Bible. No. 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 Don't fucking tell me that something's different than what I'm doing and tell me that I've seen a demon. Yeah, I've seen demons before and I know the difference between demons and Jesus and angels with wings and spirits too. And I know the difference between uh, ghosts and angels and spirits. Ghosts are here. Like, they're, they're here on this plane. Uh, spirits are in another dimension, other places, on a different plane and existence. You can even telepathically conversate with them and aliens too they're different play playing too and you can conversate with them i have i fucking have you can't tell me it's a lie it's my fucking experience you cannot fucking change it with your goddamn fake beliefs and you're all fake just bullshit okay anyways so the spiritual wind came when i was in bed with the such here sparkle rising moon aries the spiritual wind came and got rid of her headache to ask her if her headache was gone and she said yeah you know what something has gone to you blah blah you know what i mean so that was real fucking real he cast out the demon i don't know what he did with it and I would like to fucking know. I would like to fucking know. I'd like to fucking know more. Speak more, Jesus. Speak more, Jesus, when you come to me next time, okay? Speak some fucking more truth. But you can't act like a piece of shit dumbass when you're around Jesus or any other fucking spirits. Because you have to sit there, blank, listen to them. Fucking listen to them because they cannot make you hear them. No angel can make you hear them or listen to them. You have to listen to yourself. To them yourself. You have to stay in contact. If you lose contact, you're fucked. And it sucks real bad. You're all alone with this. You're all alone with this. That's it. And ain't nobody gonna make you fucking do this. You have to make yourself do it like I have, okay? I have done this, okay? And so, um, that's one of my experiences. And, like, with Jesus, too, again, um, I've seen Jesus at the event, uh, at, at church, and they spoke in tongues or whatever, but they're all fucking dumb. I've seen them fucking lying pieces of shit, uh, hypocrite losers, and I don't even know if they're really actually speaking in tongues. They could be, because I have before, but, uh, they're all fucking illiterate pieces of shit, no matter fucking what. It doesn't fucking matter. Those people are bad people. They kick me out of the church, say, uh, making up excuses about me when, and I'm the real fucking truth. you never seen Jesus. you never seen spirits. I didn't act like this in church. I, they just kicked me out for no fucking reason, so it pissed me off then, whatever. 
but um in church before but i can still go back and um uh like they act like they forgot me about me you know, since i've been there going there since seventh grade yeah woohoo okay he said, Jesus said, he doesn't understand this. And he showed up real big in, in that church. Okay. My stories are true about Jesus. My kids are with Jesus. Go look it up. Okay. Anyways. Gonna go back. Okay. Um, the truth. Um, I want to fucking know Jesus about this shallow ass bullshit experience that we're having. Okay. I've seen old people in spirit. They look fucking old and ugly still. Why the fuck? Are they that form? Can't they go into light and change and be younger and beautiful? Why do they have to be in a body of light that's fucking still ugly as they were human? Because humans fucking mate with ugly ass humans and have ugly unhealthy babies and do ugly unhealthy things to their fucking body while they're pregnant or before they're pregnant and make the kids ugly as fuck or they drug the little kids put them on Ritalin and shit like that like they did fucking me yeah like my parents are fucking stupid okay my dad's dead he's still fucking stupid what is he gonna tell me other than oh I can look over your shoulder and look at um other people and see what's depressing about their life and stuff uh, really okay well let's just do that together okay well I'm seen him ever since telling my mom telling me to tell my mom oh your mom's so beautiful she could be a model really she's 51 years old she does look like she's 20 she's got gemini libra fucking rising libra rising means you're gonna have a beautiful fucking face and you're gonna be a hypocrite piece of shit hiding all this fucking evil and then she's moving into delusional fucking pisces which means which means all kinds of fucking bullshit all kinds of fucking bullshit everyone's the charlie chart is fucking stupid everyone's a fucking dumbass tool piece of shit Believing in your own fucking head and making your own fucking life up. Just like fairies. They're just nothing but savages. They look like fuck. they act like animals. They just hear they're observing us and stuff too. That's all they fucking do. They don't tell me shit. Nothing. Angels don't either. They just like, let's have a conversation. We're here together. Huh? I'm dumb, but I could tell you lots of things about this life. But I'm waiting for you to uh, ask a question. Well, why don't you come with your own fucking answers and just fucking tell me, okay? Because I'm going to tell the truth. I'm going to be out loud and assertive. And that's what psychics need to be. And that's why spirits are looking for assertive fucking people to say, speak up, bitch. So I can speak for you. Please quit breeding ugly humans that are just going to be miserable. Please quit neutering rare, beautiful, rare, expensive ass motherfucking dogs. Neuter the ugly ones that you don't fucking want. Quit making people neuter this expensive fucking dog that you're breeding and making them pay thousands of dollars for. That just shows what a piece of fucking shit you are. You're not saving the planet. You're not saving the dogs by not overpopulating beautiful dogs. You're making ugly dogs cost so much money that are so easy to find in a pound. And that pisses me the fuck off, too. Idiots. It's just common fucking sense. It's logical. It matters only who you are on the inside. Will be something better on the inside while you're better on the outside. It doesn't fucking matter. You're still an ugly shell. You're still going to be an ugly spirit with a beautiful spirit inside that spirit. Because that's what I've seen. People are still ugly when they're dead. Even if you're a formless a uh, energy, you become form when you're in this physical bullshit. And there it is. There you have it. There's your imprint. And that's what you are. And you can't do nothing about it. But God still loves you. Oh, still loves you. Even if you don't fucking love the way that you look yourself. The fuck? It's bullshit. You love yourself all you want. You're a good person. You got the most beautiful spirit. Whatever. I have 12 house Taurus. I'm supposed to have a beautiful spirit and a beautiful heart. Fifth house, a Libra. What do we fucking do? Who wants to be a Libra and Taurus? I don't fucking sure as fuck don't. The Taurus is no imagination. They're all fucking boring as fuck. And they're just stubborn and stupid and bossy and they're just a dumb bitch. Like, big fucking deal. And a traitor. A deceiving piece of shit. And then, like, Libra is just a boring-ass fake loser. Like, don't have any fun. They're just pretty. But they're fake artificial dumbass, stupid bitches. Who cares? Fuck about that. But it rules beauty and, um, relationships and, um, stupid shit that, and financial security that you need and want and have. Ch chaff. Okay. Whatever. Oh, oh, yeah.
shining on so brightly, cut like a diamond and close to the Almighty. This is my new arrangement. You know, um, I see people going hard for their city, going hard for their favorite musicians, celebrities. Sports teams, sin, know I mean? So, don't look at me Popeye, cause I'm going hard for my Lord Jesus I really love him, he really is my life, I'm a Jesus freak Fucking in kingdom, you know what to do Them Jesus freaks, you right that to We going hard and we ain't scared and We love our God, nah he ain't Fucking in kingdom, you know what to do Them Jesus freaks Hey, I've been born again, he made me sparkly Fucking a kingdom, you know 